Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Be a sir, mighty good here at your service. Who he feels much better now than before. Okay, that's good to you. And welcome back to Dave the Diver for stream number five, I believe. And uh, yeah, last time, 
we made some good cash. <laughs> no, not really. No, no. Not only did we make good cash, we also did good hiring. Yeah. And progress. We got Raptor. We got someone who is likely. Oh, you can only dive once at night. One third of evening working hours will be consumed. Okay. Okay. I I thought for night dives we had to go back. Actually, that's. Now that I think about it, it's dumb. Why would we go to the sushi bar and then back here for diving? And Okay, this <laughs> I like that there's a question mark above there for now. It's probably for the guy that wants Murray Curry. But yeah, we can sacrifice a bit of... Uh, we can sacrifice a bit of work time to go get some exotic fish. Okay. Let's see. To the uh, found in coral reefs and steep surfaces of submerged rocks. Keep oh, <laughs> bioluminescent. <laughs> okay. Now we need some Murray eels for the curry. Oh, oh not this is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. The art before has already been pretty, but this just adds on it. Yeah, and I got a bit distracted after the reply. Queen to your friend, as you say that uh, I. I saw someone reply that they know going to watch song movies and I just probably say, yeah, I won't watch the song movies either. Yeah, I, I, I just saw something about like Saw 10 being made. I, I knew there were a bunch There's of them, but 10. not that many. Or Saw X. Oh, jellyfish. We want those. Okay. <laughs> Stupid oh. little thing. I said this. Oop. My lead, one of my younger brothers liked it, but when I saw one of the scenes with a pit of syringes... Yeah. I, I don't have phobia of needles, but blood hack. That scene almost gave me one. And that, from that point, I just felt like when I saw the actors jump into it, I just felt like... I'm not gonna watch this. I like horror, but this is too much. Even with yeah. me. I, I can't handle blood, blood gods and gore in movies. But torture? Yeah, no. A torture game? No. No, that, that, that's... Oop. Yeah, that's actually too much for me. Okay. There we go. Not going to be the best meat, but oh well. Okay. Now, where are those murray eels? I'm also going to pop this open because because we lost quite a bit of oxygen from the stupid little lionfish. Okay. <laughs> stupid sound. Okay. That'll help. Let's see. Shark. I kind of actually want to fight sharks. Since... All right, you have to look for murays as well. Yeah. Do we, we have seen murays? Oh, oh you yeah, going far. in the morning. Uh... Yeah, in the morning or in, during the day, they hide. And they're supposed to be coming out during the night, so we should be able to find them somewhere. Question is where, of course. Let's see. Might as well grab some stuff along the way. Hmm. Nope. I'll I'll take that over a squeaky hammer. Let's see. Oh dear. I'm guessing they. Oh, there's one. Okay. Let's. Can I quickly grab whatever is in here? Yep. yep. Yes, I'll take that over the little dart gun with these things. Hey. Not gonna get me again. I realize you said the order uh, uh, yesterday. You well, can technically eat any animal. Yeah. No. Even though um, is very venomous and poisonous, so you should not eat them. But you can eat them. 
But it doesn't look like you will survive. Yep. Okay, come on. And with that said, here comes the question. Are electric ease edible? Probably. It's, with most things, with most stuff like that, it depends on how you prepare it, I believe. And hello there, Mac. It, yeah, interesting way to go fishing. Just put yeah, some bullet hello, holes Mac. in it. Yep, and yes, Mac, this is the game where there are underwater guns. Uh, six to not at that much better. Six to eight, I like the bad number better. I don't know, understand why I'm so paranoid when I see six to nine. Because it's just so uh, much of a joke number nowadays. It's, yeah, I don't want to go down too much. Be, uh, it's so been mean to it so much that it actually just makes me paranoid when I see it. Okay, we have an escape point here. Oop, some equipment here. Anyways, how are you doing today, Mac? Hoping well, of course. And I'll stick with the katana. Actually, come here, you. Okay, it seems they are. Oh, they, it seems they're stronger during the night as well. Uh, very sleepy, apparently. Let's see. Oh. Like not a good, not yeah, not had a good nice night's rest or something. That's hmm. I like the tune they gave they got playing for this. Oh yeah, very relaxing. Oh. I'm guessing we at some point we can get a, a way of tranquilizing aggressive creatures. Because the the dart gun works on normal fish or non-aggressive fish. Let's get some of this. Oh, oh, oh that's a nice little detail. The the headlight the headlamp also shines against the terrain. That's it's not, it's not only a nice detail, it's actually in a way helpful, for then you know that you... Wait, you probably should know already when you are close to the ground. Yeah. The okay, let's grab this and let's go look a little bit deeper. I don't want to go too deep. But I do want to see what else we can find. We want to catch as many jellyfish as we can. Okay. Here's the escape points. So, if we need to flee, we can get up there. Let's see. There's some equipment. A fossil, of, or more bones. Let's see. Those spikes typically indicate that there's a current, but I'm guessing it's not here at the moment. Really, a tennis racket? A strong knockback? I'll take it. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what have we here? Okay. Uh, yeah. Once we get at the shop, once we get to the restaurant, let's go look at uh, how at training stuff and probably get some people, hire some people, or maybe. Maybe not hire, but see if we can find some people who are good at procuring stuff. Because that's going to be a lot easier to get, a lot easier of a way to get in some ingredients. Yeah, Cause... let's be honest. It is a bit weird to dive off the soy salt and bottle of salt. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying it, that sounds so weird and I... Uh, E e easy to take this massacre man, uh, shark. <laughs> oh dear. Grab this. And it's a dead end on this end, but we can just 
juke this thing. Oop. And can we juke number two? <laughs> Plotsam and Jetsam. Plot... Yeah, whatever. Ursula's uh, pet barracudas. Uh, um... Uh... Heel. Heel, you... I know but... you say you're forgetful, but... Good gods! They are not barracudas! Or, oh, were they eels? Uh, yeah, I think they were eels. Electric yeah. eels, actually. <laughs> okay. the electric Murray eels. Well, almost the most electric Murray eel eels he had. Okay, now... Yeah, how? <laughs> Bad memory. <laughs> I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, but still, that's a new level. And also, do to do curious, I just remembered as a... Song that was almost mean a bit, uh... Years ago. Oh? And I I don't know the entire song. I only know the word Ooh, ooh Barracuda. <laughs> okay. Let's see anything better. Hmm. I'll take it. Lord Me that me main Oh it's Bruce. Yeah, let's be careful about Bruce since we know he has a few hundred HP. Yeah, when I spotted him from an angle, I thought first, is that another giant squid? <laughs> then he turned around and realized, oh, he's a shark. Just a shark. Yeah. Just a shark. Um, no, still a danger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big ass shark. I. With, a, with some bombs, we can take them one on. I'm not so sure without. Maybe if we upgrade our harpoon gun a bit more. For now, and common cat food? Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Mm. Should I give it to Momo? Okay. I did, I did not expect a can of cat food in the sea. Depending on the cat food is made of, like if it's made of tuna, it would that actually work as bait? I guess. Okay. And yeah, I say that with hesitation. It looks like night time is the best time to get predator fish. Because we haven't seen a single one that hasn't been hostile. Okay. How do I... I'm sure barricades... Oh, have barricades attacked people? Probably. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Ooh. Yep. Duke, you bunch of bachelors. Okay, let's try and get this shark. Lure it up here, away from the little jackasses. I that one seems to be really just, intense. Did you say it's an exit my room, you gone bad shit? Ab no. <laughs> okay, come here, you then. Nope. And there's another barracuda for us to hunt. Okay. Yep, that was a miss. Rather ended up going short. Oop. Take that. I'll take that as well. Oop. Oop. Too low. I have finally realized what this reminds me of. What then? Oop. I can give you a clue. Arena. And someone holding a large piece of red cloth. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> Bull fighting. Yeah, dude, in this case, it would be shark fighting. No. Okay. Is that a tight shark or a bull shark? Yeah, that was the, the reef shark. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah, bull shark would be the best comparison. Oop. Out of ammo. 
not out of options. There we go. And I think that should do. I think Tiger Shock and Bullshock are the shows that are most likely to attack people. Mm, I know there's differences in aggression levels between them, and we're right back at the start. Okay, let's head out of here. All right. Not a full haul, but still a good haul. Let's see. Oh, we even got a jar of something. Let's see. Box jellyfish. Only two for meat from that. Ten murray eel meats. Okay, that was a good haul. <laughs> okay. Now, what is that jaw here? Uh, box jellyfish tentacle. Murray eel jawbone. Okay. And let's head over. We'll make. We'll probably won't make as much today, but oh well. <laughs> yes, yes, Jason. Okay, you got anything to say? <laughs> this is amazing. Thank you. I won't let you down. Okay. He looks familiar. We still got servings of the last time, or is that already ready? Uh. Let's actually remove that from there, so we can put the Murray <laughs> Eel Curry on. Let's see. Okay, we... Hmm. We can actually enhance this. Let's do that. Yeah. Also, if we upgrade it again, we're going to hit the minimum taste of 125. And we'll have enough to... Actually, wait, no. No, 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 no. We need two more... Okay, if we were to upgrade it now, we'd run out of more eel meat. So let's not do yeah. that. Let's put on four servings of that. Let's see, 10, 18... Yeah, we should have more than enough. Also, okay. want someone wanting a Murray Eel? Yeah, it's the special guest, or the special customer. Uh, let's have a quick look over here. And yeah. Hmm. That, that has to be some sort of tuna. Yeah, that, okay. that's tuna. Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot of... Wait, is it... Okay, I'm pretty sure some of these are the little things we've been seeing sl swimming around. Are we going to need a net or something to catch those? Probably a specialized net, since... Let's be honest. Would you really use an, an entire harpoon against a goldfish? No. Or any fish big as a green fish at all? <laughs> no, let's see. Nothing to research. Uh, let's see, hiring is in progress. We have someone on their way, yeah, getting salt. Because that is, we have that in one of our good, uh, <clears throat> in one of our good recipes. Uh, let's see, this, oh, oh yeah. Let's see, what is this with training? Oh, that, oh, that upgrades their skills. Okay. But it's, hmm. Okay, so those skills are going to remain locked until they get a certain level, I'm guessing? Hmm. Likely. Let's see. Does it... Is this... Okay, it is a set amount of money. 150 every time. Let's hold back on that for the moment. We are definitely going to be training some people then. Go and Raptor for certain. James, maybe? Unless we find a better cook. 
But for now, he will do in his current spot. And... Yeah. Gonna call me call. <laughs> the ra ra Raptor and Jason Voorhees yeah. serving food. Okay, there's also... there's Next to the phone, in the lower left, there's two... Okay, I know... I, <clears throat> The bag is, is yeah, the bag is showing that procurement is on their way, and the other one shows that the hiring is in progress. All right, uh, let's start then. I, I am curious what kind of skills we could teach people though. Maybe teach them to surf green tea and such. Speaking of, there. There. Okay. Okay, it's a bit busy today. Yeah, now do I just realize. Oh wait. How do we give him the Murail? We serve it ourselves. Oh, you you did grab it. <laughs> That's the taste I remember. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Mm. The food brings back memories. I, I'm getting big vibes of uh, the critic from Ratatouille. <laughs> mm. Let's see. One time a young man who lived with a sick mother in my village was bitten by a murray eel, keeping them, going, uh, keeping them from going into the sea any longer. I was 12 then, and I went out into the pitch black darkness and plunged a harpoon into that murray eel's gills. I brought them the dead murray eel, and the mother made me murray uh, curry in thanks. <laughs> Thinking of that woman's kind eyes brings tears to my eyes. Um. <laughs> In any case, thanks for the food. That was some fantastic cooking. <laughs> okay. So he's, he's not that much of a on. jackass after all. Hmm? Hold on. The Murray beat a woman. He went out to the sea in revenge to hunt down the Murray eel. Yeah. They brought and she it back and they cooked and ate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's one way to get revenge to eat your enemies. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh. <clears throat> all right. I said I'd tell you something nice, right? Uh -huh. Nearly forgotten amid all that nostalgia. <laughs> Come see me in the empty lot behind this building. Okay, this must be that farm then. All right. And they've got the rest covered. Oh, great. Yep. Uh, yeah, Raptor. Raptor is basically going to be able. To, is probably going to uh, carry us through any of these upcoming nights. Yeah, we had a really good find with him. Okay, not as much. Uh, but we got our score back. Yeah, and we did get a quest done. Yeah. And another example of, well, this the, the quality animation with this. Okay. Hello, Bacon. <laughs> Phew, I tried to do it alone, but it was too tough. I got a bit of help from Duff. Thanks to your help, we can now translate your words into the Sea People's language as well. <laughs> is, that an I is that an iPod? Wow, Maybe. I'm curious to know what they have to say as well. <laughs> I just realized something. Hmm? Is Bacon his first name or last name? <laughs> Probably last. <laughs> Not yet. Is his first name Kevin? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Let's see. I'll first make way back to the Sea People's location. Okay. Let's speak with the sea people. Oop, hello, Duff. Hmm? What is it? I spent some quality time with Lice Chan and did some quiet thinking. I realized that paying people back for help received was what a noble master would do. 
Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Mm. Mm, they're fine. Be nice if they were stronger, though, and here's where we get weapon an enhancement. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. Mm. Enhance them? How do you do that? <laughs> it's about making them stronger, or imbibing elements like poison or electricity. There's one thing you need to remember, though. Only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. Yeah. Oh, I see. Gun enhancement. That sounds pretty useful. Yeah. Duff, you're a cooler person than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> what are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best monster I can be for last John. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that last John is supposed to be some sort of maid character or something. But yeah. I think I've proved an adequate explanation. It's back to the world of the pixies for me. <laughs> Goodbye, eternity. <laughs> uh, at least he enjoys what he enjoys without uh, too much... Uh, <laughs> without too much uh, problems. Let's see. You can now enhance your guns at Duff's weapon shop, collect various materials and gun fragments, and make your weapons more powerful. Okay. Yep. Auto. Did you sleep well? Yesterday I told you I'd tell you something good. <laughs> Take the boat and come behind the restaurant. Okay, might as well go do that, and well, it's not like we have much of a choice at the moment. We can't even access the, <laughs> the phone. Okay. I think that was the first wide shot that we got of the area. Hello. Yeah, fish farm. <laughs> wow, what is this place? <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Looks like you're doing quite a lot of hard work catching fish every day. <laughs> so I got to making a fish farm and finished it in a single day yesterday. Mm. What? A single day? Um, in any case, this is where you can grow fish and let them multiply. And also let them okay. multiply. I'll explain slowly, so listen closely. Um, first, come over to the fish section. Or, to the first section. Yeah. Um, okay. Fish farms need to have the right environment for their fish. Each section has fish for a, a different depth. Okay. This is where you can grow fish that live at depths of 0 to 50 meters. Do it. Each section has a limited space, and once the density reaches 100%, no more fish can fit. <laughs> of course, you can pay a bit of money to expand them. Okay, okay so that's your angle with this. Uh, <laughs> Each section is equipped with its own camera, so we can look inside. Oh, now come along. <laughs> okay, we got a little aquarium oh. here. Nice, isn't it? I added a few fish to start you off. Mm. Wow, it's like an aquarium. Mm. Just staring into the water is enough to make you all peaceful inside. Oh. But that isn't the purpose of this fish farm, of course. Oh, I'll teach you how to pluck them out so they can be eaten. Pay attention. Okay, just okay. select. Fish in the fish farm can be sent to Banjo Sushi to be used as ingredients or sold directly. <laughs> Even if you fail to catch fish because you are so busy exploring, you won't need to worry. <laughs> but how do we add fish to the farm? Simply catching them will kill them. Okay. Good question. You can farm them by collecting fish eggs. Okay. If you capture some fish alive, you sometimes get fish eggs. Okay. Oh, okay. The more reason to use the nets and dart guns. Those eggs will automatically be sent here. Oh, and one more thing. Um, if you have two or more of the same type, they can also multiply. Mm. Wow, I see. Oh, okay. I've placed two fish each, so you should be able to see the results tomorrow. <laughs> Try coming back tomorrow. Okay. Let's see, when catching fish, you'll sometimes acquire fish eggs. You know, <clears throat> These can be hatched in the fish farm. If hunting isn't a viable option, try getting ingredients from the fish farm. Okay. I was thinking for a moment we'd have to sacrifice some fish to oh. <clears throat> to put in new ones in here or put ones in here, but no. All the fish that we catch can go to Bancho, and all the fish eggs that we get from them go here. Let's Ooh. see. And I'm guessing we can expand these over time for different depths, and there's even a nocturnal one. Okay. Or will these get expanded this, over time? This will be handy. Yeah. We can throw a, a good amount of fish in there to be, well, breeding on their own. Yellow has been added as a contact. Let's see, how is this here? Bayaba. 
Kelp really brings out the taste of the sea. And Otto, I should have taken a, po <laughs> a photo. It was too good to wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, we keep a cat here at <laughs> Boncho Sushi Bar. Momo will never sit still. <laughs> uh, and of course, it has a bunch of likes because cats. Uh, wait. There. No. Okay, we need one good tasting thing. Do you upgrade that? Now, what about enhancing here? Uh, let's see. Is this for upgrading or... Ah, uh, X. <laughs> I missed a big, big ass pop up there. Okay, on the... W oh, hello! Okay, this is why you'd want to craft multiple, because they they branch. All right. Let's see, is a tranquilizer rifle? Okay, 40% chance of instant... <laughs> yeah, and a lightning rifle, shock rifle. Okay. Let's see, just a straight up upgrade for 35 damage and a bigger magazine. Okay, 40% chance... Hmm. Okay, rifle that tranquilizer creature. Fish on the water? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay, we need cuttlefish skin fragments for this thing. Okay. So that explains why some fish have been dropping extra stuff, like jaws and such. Okay, definitely will want one of these, since that's a bigger, a lot bigger of a magazine. And I'm guessing 40% chance of instant tranquilization means that, well, there's a 40% chance. Otherwise, it'll take nine seconds for them to pass out. Let's see, what can this be upgraded into? A quattro? Four bullets at once? Can also a flame, also a tranquilizer version? Hmm. Poison, lightning, and shock. Sniper rifle, an upgraded version. Flame, tranquilizer. Tranquilize... No, that's... Okay, for a moment I thought they said that it, you could tranquilize uh, higher grade creatures, but no. Tranquilized creatures will be of higher grade. That's just the one to three star. If if um, something we if we kill something, it'll be one star. If we catch it after wounding it, it is two stars. If we capture it completely unharmed through tranquilization or a net, it's three stars and gives the most meat. Let's um, see. Uh, have you take a look at what the brand computer there is? Uh, the man book pro <laughs> really <laughs> oh, that, that's yeah. kind of painful let's see gun that fires a medium net targets caught in the net will be of high grades we could make this one but I'm going to hold off on it since we're, might, we're <clears throat> we can likely get a good uh, <clears throat> we might be able to get someone good with uh, the staff hiring and let's see, normal fish tranquilize after six seconds. And then there's the purple, we need purple starfish to get this. It is only one extra bullet. Hmm. Actually, I, I think with the others, hmm. the percentage is the percentage that they get tranquilized in the first place. So there might be a bunch of wasted shots with that. Still, we'll need to make one to figure out if that is the case. Still, 50, 40%. 40% of 80. I think that would come down to about the same amount of bullets as the tranquilizer dart. So I'm thinking we should probably go for this one and this one. But for now, we leave that be. Okay. Uh, there is a contact here. We should call some people sometime to see what how they react and everything. Okay. And going to the fish farm didn't take up any time. Nice. Gun Very enhancement nice. kits. Taking that. Hmm. I'll leave that for the moment. And let's see. Let's actually swap this out for the basic rifle. And go look for the sea people. <clears throat> hmm. 
Actually, probably should have kept the tranquilizer for any jellyfish that we run across, but oh well. Okay. Are you great tranquilizer jellyfish? Yeah, we've been doing that a few times. But now... I don't know why, it's not so weird. For now, I'm going to mostly beeline for the sea people. Grab anything of use that's along the way. Take a bit of scrap, some shells. So, I think I remember a random fact about the jellyfish. No. I think they were about 90% made of water? Yep. Or something? It does sound about right. Oh, cuttlefish, we want you. We don't want the freaking trigger fish, though. No, screw it. Get in the bag. You... I wonder if that means they're the closest thing we have to water elementals. <laughs> I guess. Uh, there it is. Okay. Miss. Miss. There. No, I, I... I used to know, I think people might end up making memes of me. Like, uh, what was that, that a fort raptor or something? I mean, as part of some random things. Uh, jellyfish, 90% water. Does that make them water elementals? Platypus are mammals. They lay eggs and have bills. Does that make them Australian griffins? Okay. <laughs> you just see what I mean. Yeah. All right, no way to get lower over that way, so we go this way. Oop. I'm pretty sure that should have hit. There we go. That should be a miss. Okay. Uh, we're just going deeper and deeper. Oop. There's the saw. Shark. It still gets the last laugh on us since it gets the more well, Incas. There. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got a skin fragment. Seems it is only a chance to drop. But that just means that we'll go. We'll have to go harass all the cuttlefish that we find. Bit of vinegar, and that's a dead end. But it does look like we can go. Yeah, we can go deeper here. I'll take that. We should be good with fish for the a bit, even though. Wait, still, I'll probably go catch some fish on the way back up. Oop, another ingredient. Hmm. Some salts, useful for our main dishes. Okay. Oh no, I should remember another the random facts. No. Uh, in the Middle Ages, just about due to the shirt and all that, but on some days you're not allowed to eat regular meat, but you're allowed to eat fish. And a way to get around that, people decided beavers swim a lot and have a flat tail. Therefore, beavers or fish. Therefore, we can eat beavers. Okay. On that's, that holy day. <laughs> that's a bit of creative thinking, I'll give them that. Yeah, but it was a stretch. There we go. It is not all too much that we put away with these, but every little bit can help. Oh, I see it, a little bastard. Thank you. Okay. Angry little bugger. Now then. Okay, to the right here. Nice to have a little escape, pla uh, escape uh, spot nearby. 
And yeah, we need to keep an eye out for purple starfish, which I believe only appear in this in these depths. Oh, that's a bit much. Okay. Come on, get away. Okay, we can move while using this thing. And yeah, there we are. Okay, what do you see hippies have to say? Mm. Let's try to see people translated from Dr. Beacon uh, Beacon Bacon and see what how it works. Let's see. Mm. Uh, uh, can you hear me? <laughs> what? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see. Well, in any case, right, I should introduce myself. My name is Suwam. Okay, among us low dwellers. Uh, you, uh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and the coolest male among them. <laughs> yeah, doubtful. Suwam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Hm. Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to broken toilet lids. Um. <laughs> that uh, face he's making. No. What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People uh, village uh, chief, Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by the stupid giant squid, she's been unconscious. If I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid, human. I'm the one that guards Ramo. And good job you did at that. You really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? Or about that. In order to allow Ramu to recover, we need some additional herbs. I'm unable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must require some additional herbs to, re to help Ramu recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible? How do we do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you or something. Well, we luckily know one. Wait. Hmm. How the heck do you eat coral? Uh, crushing it up, I'm guessing. Let's see. Hmm. She's ill, so I can't refuse to help her. Better coral and lily coral, huh? I guess I'll take a look around first. Yeah. Much of a guardian you've proven to be. Let's see, what's in here? Pickaxe. Uh, we need that for amethyst, so may as well take it. Some air. Okay. Uh, Dave, other, there we go. No clue why he was, why he was pointing it the wrong way there. Okay. Now. Angry. Let's keep this spot in mind. Angry what though? What the heck is that? Oh. About to get eaten is what it out is. Nope, miss. There. Okay, we definitely need to upgrade our spear gun to be able to do better in these depths. There we go. Fang tooth. Okay. okay. Not falling for that. We'll have to look deeper, I think, to find these corals. But we know that there's an escape point here with some extra oxygen. Yep. There. Let's not get trapped between those. Oh. Is that an Opa? It looks like a sunfish. It's the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take its picture as a souvenir. Oh, that thing. Okay, we got it. Ca oh, capture two at once. Okay. Not the best photo. But still, okay, there's some of that. 
<laughs> Rubber chicken. Okay, there's the other Yum. clone. Oh, and there's our big shark friend. You can Rubber now disassemble. Let that pray. Okay. On. <laughs> you can now disassemble guns, harpoon tips, and other weapons. Use the weapon fragments required from disassembling to request Duff to enhance your weapons. Okay. Uh, hold. Okay, hold down to. Uh, wait. And tran oh, tranquilizer harpoon tip. Okay. Oh. Uh, what was it? What was it? You were to make here? All right. Rubbish again. Natural prey to the rubber shark. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, let's see. Oxygen. We've got our coral already. So for now, all of this is just yep, getting more ingredients. Okay, yeah, you just... Actually... Okay. Oh, okay, that is nice. We, I'll definitely be looking more for these things then. Uh, let's see, that looks like it can be blown open at some point. Mm, oh. <laughs> Actually, if those are nearby, then the other ones are likely nearby as well. Okay. What the heck? Hello, what are you? Oh, 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 that's our depth limits. Okay. What is this? It looks like a sort of... Okay, it's poisonous, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm not familiar did, with this rage. Did not expect that. But let's head back. So we are at least near an escape point. Actually, let's just make haste. I'm not surprised since, think about it, many poisonous fish are very colorful. Yeah. Or brightly. Okay, there's one of these that we need. Okay. None. A bit of a low load at the moment. Let's see. Let's actually grab some oxygen and see what else we can get our hands on. Come back here. And yeah, it looks like it is in either instant tranquilization. Work. Actually, hmm. Still a very good find with this thing. Oh, hello. What is that? Hmm. No clue what it is, but I am going to try and catch it. Come on, get stunned. Get tranquilized. There we go. Okay. Pacific fanfish. Don't think it's going to be a fan of us by the time he wakes up. Okay, give me that. Okay. Um, anything else we can f catch still? Or do I need to go to? shallower waters to continue the hunt. So I don't want to call it with too low, you know, too light of a load. Hmm. There's that thing. Okay, come on. Nope. I do like that even if that we still get three stars worth of, of food from getting the tranquilizer on. Even though they are hurts. It's okay. But they are probably less hurt than uh, compared to when you just 
I pull them over and over. <laughs> Even though that is kind of what I'm doing with some of them. <laughs> okay. It's going to catch whatever crosses my path. Yep. Yep. Still got it. <laughs> I think that I think the damage type has been changed. I think with the damage type being ha having bleh, having been changed to tranquilization, it means that uh, we either just catch them normally, which counts them as being hurt, like this, or we catch them tranquilized, which counts as a. Uh, yeah, a full, <laughs> fully restored. <laughs> awesome. A bit of an oddity, but a well. Welcome, oddity. There. Atlantic mackerel. There. Okay. Still a nice little find. This uh, tranquilizer head. This darts or whatever okay. yep thank Wait, you oh yes we have i think we have a saying involving this fish in sweden then who oh. milda makril i think you have mentioned that before yeah yeah okay is uh what was i could i compare it to like it, it, it basically it basically is similar way you could say an alternative way to say dear god. Okay. Now we're full. So let's head on out to the surface or an escape point, whatever we find first. Okay. Hmm. Actually with if the <clears throat> if an instant uh if with a weapon it counts as instant if the if with a gun an instant tranquilization also counts as a three star catch then i think it would still it would be worth it to get one of the tranquilizer rifles hmm. phew it seems i got everything that fussy half fish asked me for okay he wanted me to make this crawl edible right I'll have to ask Bancho for help. Okay. New depth limits. And a good amount of ingredients. 21 mackerel. <laughs> okay. And we got Fang Tooth Row, Titan Triggerfish Row, Cuttlefish Row, Red Bream, Fanfish, Puffer, Mackerel, uh, Grouper. Okay, I think we're just going to catch every type of uh, fish that we can to get some of their rows so we can, well, farm them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and I just realized you're going to probably put me a trunk line so weapon, definitely yes, but you definitely are going to make some uh, weapon weapons. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? <laughs> oh, an opa. Did you know that the Opa is warm-blooded? Mm. Oh, I think I've heard about it. <laughs> it's amazing that some fish pieces are warm-blooded. The ocean is full of, mis full of mysteries. <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the reason to discover that Greenland chalk are warm-blooded. Okay. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. I'm guessing that's just random chance for where they, where they can go. Let's see. Uh, nothing new here. And um, I have no need to upgrade a gun. Actually, there's one. Uh, let's uh, no, not that. Let's go with the net gun. And if we upgrade that, we can get we can catch a bunch of small fish this way and get a lot of row. 
Okay. Kind of detouring from our objective to get as much jelly, as many jellyfish as possible, but we can still catch those by just killing them and such. Okay, yep, here we have a perfect spot to try out the new gun, or the upgraded gun. I think it's been up. Or does it count more towards... Hmm, not too much bigger, so I... It, Okay, it leveled it up in its level, but not in the size of the net. Oop. Maybe more noticeable next time you upgrade it. Maybe a little bit of a waste, but it was only a few. Oh, damn it. It was only a few golds. All right, then. Can we get our hands on a dart, then? No, but we can get a rifle. Um, yeah, let's disassemble this thing. Yeah, just some fragments. Okay. We got the swap back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure these count as kill catches, so we won't get any row out of this. But at least we can still go look for jellyfish. Oh, hello. That has to be something. Some sort of face yeah, scanner. Looks... Yeah, that looks suspicious. Miss. Okay. We don't really have much of an objective besides get jellyfish. So let's just catch as many fish as we'd like as well. Been a bit since we've filled up our stores with the smaller ones. Oh no. Oh what? no, no! What? I didn't remember that. <laughs> no. Some people read right on Link. You know, good people, good morning. <laughs> okay, do I even want to know? They made a yellow, made of yellow fish. And no, they did not like it. Okay. I think it was part of the food experiment where they do some experiment with food that could work and such, and they always have one that obviously should not work, but they tried anyway. And I think it was that jellyfish jelly. If it's already and like yes. mostly water, why add it even more fluid to it? A uh, rumor of they actually may turn it into jelly. Uh, oh, I can say this. Oh. If you saw it, there will be no way in. Heck, you will eat it. Oh, so I it just realized my mistake. Oh. Oh. Uh, we got the the upgrade kit. We didn't upgrade the <laughs> the net gun itself. We got a a kit to upgrade it, and well, I overlooked that bit. I was to ask you about that earlier, and I got distracted. Uh, uh, I should yeah. really watch Red Link again sometime, but still. Uh. We can catch a heck of a lot of the little guys like this. Since they, most of them are like half a kilo or less. There. But you... You can do this Swedish way of fishing. And what's that? Well, you dive in and scream the fish into submission. There. Yes, people, okay. I'm joking. Okay. Is this a net gun, maybe? <laughs> nope, it actually uh, is. Okay. Actually, no, I wonder, 
How would you react if someone is if a Swede just jumped into a nearby lake in Amsterdam and actually screamed the fish into submission? I'd be impressed and worried. Number <laughs> two. Okay, and this is make this is now using a bigger net. So the, the kit does upgrade the size of it. Uh, it's still not too big though. I guess we have to get really lucky to get seven fish in one net shot. Okay. I'm going to keep it around in case we find ammo. That's for now, I guess. Yeah, we can just fish whatever we want. Okay. Scooter. Always nice. Gar. Good for a meal. Let's see. Um. Hmm? Yeah, I thought you were going to say something. Mm, I'm more for pondering. Okay. Uh, what are we able to upgrade in taste? Yeah, if we can get some spotted jellyfish, we can upgrade that. That's sure to get past 120. Uh, question is if we can find one of the damn things, though, since it is again random what actually appears. Or somewhat randomized. Yep. Uh, we should probably also investigate what order we can upgrade so we're not too focusing on the yellowfish. Yeah. I can know these guys, we have a recipe with them. We should have a good amount of them. It's the extra ingredients that we're short on. The salt and soy sauce and such. There. And for now, we can just keep stocking up. They said, were it eight sea salt and ingredient? Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Hmm. All right. The question is, why don't we just make our own uh, sea salt? <laughs> now I think. Oh, hello. I th oh, hey, you again. I think they want more pure salts, normal salts. Like, we're already, we're all really dealing with fish that came out of the sea, so I think adding sea salt to it might be a bit much, or it needs to be more I'm refined. Taken. I'm taken. Yeah, the pink dolphin I met before. What if we get caught by poachers again while wandering around alone? If we raise awareness about it, can we make it maybe harder to poach? I should take a picture and get it published in Weekly Fish. Okay. Uh, that's not a good one. Yeah, heart-shaped water drop. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we can also look around. Okay. That's a circle. Oh. Ah. Mm, let's retake that. Okay. Heart-shaped water drop. Yeah, you just missed that. Yeah, it oh, goes up dear. real quick with that. Hmm. Okay, is there any sign that you're going to make a bubble? Hmm. Okay, you need the heart shape right after. Yep, wrong. Nope. Okay, I don't want to need to wait too much here. Okay. Come on. Nope. What? Hmm. She's about to. That's 
That is right on time. Like half a second later and that would have been done for. Okay. Holy. Now then. Oh. Hmm. I feel like he's right. He would raise awareness and probably make people more aware to protect it. But also... Yeah, draw attention. Oh, and hello there, Marco. Yeah. Hello there, Marco. You doing well tonight? You might catch this damn thing or or kill it, apparently. Kill the, 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 the or easier way to catch a uh, parrotfish. What, offer it cookies? Co no. What the heck? No. Go for the crackers. <laughs> All right, let's keep on fishing. We're kind of in a in between moment. Uh, we're kind of in a in between moment, Marco. That where we we need to go back to the restaurant before we can continue the story. Yep. And cookies are for me. You give me the cookies. <laughs> okay. Now, can I get this patch with the net? Hey, from Marco. Yeah. I'm late since I've been playing Crisis Core, and I'm bleep loving it so far. And uh, I'm so uh, you're Mc, Mc, you're Mc loving it. Oh, he, no, no. <laughs> he, <laughs> Come here, you. We are not doing that accursed <laughs> McDonald's yoke. Okay, uh, let's use up this canister so we can bring this one oh. along. I just realized, over the years, I grow more and more disliking of most fast food joint commercials. <laughs> That, that that was a reference to McDonald's, Marco. Come here, you. There. But yeah, since we have nothing to do uh, to work towards for the <clears throat> quests, we're just filling up. Uh, we're just catching as many fish as possible to stock up, and we'll be ready for. Uh, if we ever run out of our prize uh, recipes. Oh, oh you're right over there. <clears throat> yeah, that had to burp missed sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotcha. Okay. We've also gotten the ability to upgrade our weapons now or enhance them. So that is going to be useful. Can we catch those with the nets? Oh, yes, we can. And <laughs> one swam in extra while it was closing. Okay. I almost didn't see you there. I thought you were a shadow on the background. Okay. Almost full. Still get a few more fish. Is there any pairs or so that I can catch with this last shot? Oh, oh um, I'll tell me that. Okay. Uh, I'm just catching this one since we want these for recipes. And if we can breed them, all the better. Uh, let's see, Marco, but it's also a reference to a movie where the main character made a fake idea with his last name as McLovin. <laughs> uh, don't ask what the name of the movie since I forgot. Okay. I, I wasn't referencing that. Okay, Wait, now we have I a shark to pick on. I think McDonald's has done reference to that. I think they even named that dish McLovin. Uh, actually, I let's... Think... Oh no, I think it was a Valentine thing. <laughs> uh, grab that, grab that. 
Uh, okay, we, we, what are they then? They're all so tiny. Okay. Shall we try and... Oh, no. Are they pangolins? On the little... Oh, Miss. Okay, come on. Going to catch as many fish as we can while still remaining fully mobile. And then just getting out. There. Okay. Just a, a few oh, more. And we're done. Let's see. Oh. Let's see, any batches together here? Nope. At least not close enough. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I cleared out most of the fish in this area. Actually, can I catch... No, I can't. Hmm. Or it just didn't work because I hit the wall. Apparently those tiny things he linked earlier in his early message were... Sheepy Femi Fox Prison Guard Shearing. Okay. <laughs> that's that's a lot of detail for a small to try and get out of a small image. Okay, last clownfish. Near Nemo. And let's head out. Okay. Probably the most fish we've caught in any dive so far. I almost said any run so far, but it's not a run, it's a dive. 92, 50 more than the previous maximum. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a hell of a lot of meat. And we've got a bunch of row as well. Pyramid butterfly, blue tang, cardinal clown. Oh yeah, we, we, we're going to fill out that fish farm quick. Oh. oh, you wrote a picture of something. Can I see? Wow, a pink dolphin. It's so adorable. I'd like to take it home. I'm kidding. Rain. Great. Then let's name this dolphin Pinky and get everyone and get people to notice. <laughs> Just don't send a copy of this to Doom Guy, or uh, he'll come diving down to see if, <laughs> to try and kill. <laughs> they have to come looking for demons to kill. Let's see. Oh. Then poachers won't be able to catch it so easily. <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Okay, nice bit of cash again. That was the same he said earlier. Okay. Can we... Okay, Luke came back with some salts. Uh, let's send you out again. Oh, and we've got applicants. <laughs> Kyoko is back. <laughs> I'm back, bitch. Let's see. And we've got... Okay. Raul has 66 in everything. Those do look like references. Okay. Can we go? Yes, we can still go to the fish farm. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Come on, just wait a, wait a day, Dave. Okay. Still not allowed here, apparently. To the sushi place? <laughs> Raul is OP. Now, oh, well, he's versatile. Hello. What? Yeah, I didn't check that. Is, is that her actual arm or see some. Huh? Well, okay, we haven't known yet. Yeah, but it's a puppet. Maki. Hello, kid. Hmm. Um, you look like a student. We haven't opened up. We haven't opened yet. Come back a bit later. <laughs> Listen, you. F <laughs> I heard you the one time, so stop babbling. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't me. <laughs> you want some blowfish? You get me food. Food. <laughs> what in the world is going on here? <laughs> I think I read about this somewhere. <laughs> There's a therapy method that involves letting traumatized kids speak through their mind through dolls. Doll? How dare you? You idiots don't deserve to live. I suppose it could be something more complicated. Let's ask what she wants first. 
Hombu and White Trevally Okazuke. I want it, I do. That sounds like something older men would want. I don't know what's going on, but we'll have to give her what she wants for us to try and have a conversation. Combo and White Trevally. We have plenty of White Trevally, I think. Let's check the ingredients first. Okay. And yes, we got Raptor. And yes. And Jason. Nope. Bancho has something to say. Mm. Hmm. So this cruel has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for sea people. Mm. Well, I think we could start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Mm. Porridge? Mm. <laughs> Even though no. <laughs> Wait, aren't those lunch boxes called Boncho boxes? <laughs> I think we've got to know where he got his name Bento. from, perhaps. Bento. 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 Uh, here you go. I softened the coral to make it easy to eat, so it should be fine. Oh, thank you, Boncho. You're so quick. All right, let's take this to Rama. Boncho does mean something. Uh. Do you remember Banshu Leomon? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> okay, it, now he's... If you remember, he dressed up as a certain character type you may see in some anime with the little yeah. coat and hat and all. Yeah, the... There was a... It's... It, it's, it's definitely not what it originally was, but it kind of became. Hmm. I just forgot what Banshu actually means. Hmm. Let's see, we could upgrade the sniper rifle. Mm -hmm. For a lot of damage and range. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we could upgrade the rifle. Oh. Um, it's only 100, so let's upgrade this thing. Let's see, creating this derivative weapon will cause the weapon enlisted materials to vanish. Yep. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay, that means we'll have to craft a what new one, but it's heck? only a little bit. Did I just... What the heck did I just witness? <laughs> the, the aerial scene, but uh, with an otaku. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, white tip reef shark for the tooth teeth for the flame rifle. Starry Pufferfish Poison Sacks. Okay, we had one of those, but I sold it for the Poison Rifle. Comb Jelly uh, Electric Organs for the Lightning and the Shark Barrel Jellyfish. Okay. 50% of Paralysis for 10 seconds. Movement Speed minus 30. This might be good for fighting sharks and such. It is a little bit less damage than the normal rifle. But otherwise, it has the same range and um, magazine capacity. Hmm. Let's hold off for the moment. So we don't spend all of our money on upgrades. Let's get all of these checked off. Okay. Part of the dolphin family appears to have a pink skin from lack of pigment pigments due to being albino. Although its colors are different, it gets, well long, it, it gets along well with its part of fellow dolphins. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Like, if it, some animals will be very hostile to albinos. But others not. Like, sperm whales, if they have an albino sperm whale, they will be extra protective of that uh, calf. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, they are called coughs, the younglings. Yep, no, we already have this one, and we have just enough soy sauce for it as well. Okay, kid, here you go. Then, let's see. Hmm. Let's, act let's actually enhance that. Oop. Yes. 
And then we put, let's see, actually, let's hold off on that. Put some of those on the menu. Clownfish, let's enhance that some. Five of these. And then let's go with 10 clownfish. Um, some of that. And let's upgrade that. And put five of that on this menu. Okay. Probably too much again, but better to have too much in uh, on the menu than too little. Now uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, I like how Maki expressed her th thoughts. It's very th therapeutic. Uh, ta -ta -ta, 99 out of 10, 10 out of 5 stars. The otaku gun upgrade and sushi cook cutscenes are perfect, and the story and characters are well made. Would recommend. Yeah, the, anim the, the pixel animation is just amazing in this game. Yeah, okay. this is pixel animation done right. Okay, Raul is a thousand. We have Davina. Uh, you are decent at procuring. Yoko, you can go take a hike again. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Raul's stats. Cooking, yeah. 66. Serving, 66. Procure, 66. Appeal, 66. Yeah. <laughs> and if it, is he a reference? Maybe. Let's see. Details. Oh, oh. Okay, so you can you can see what skills they will have. At level 20 must be reached for these stats? Okay. Let's see. Master Drink Maker and Ingredient Prep Master. Okay. Okay, let's look at his flavor text. <laughs> Cooking is power. Power comes from the muscles. Rose okay. a Star Wars reference? I don't think so. Actually, what are your skills here? Drink serving and always gets tips. Okay. It actually tells what the skills do on the, on the lower half. I completely overlooked that. Uh, Davina. Davina. Oh. Irresistible charm. Charisma increases permanently. Oh, you... Okay, I see now. This shows the stats at level 20. All right. This is a dispatch master. And he resists yeah. yeah, Acquire more items through dispatch. But that probably needs... We need to upgrade her a lot to get that. Still though, she has good procurement for now. So let's hire uh, her. Just, yeah, she's not expensive. Hmm. Yeah, I think we need to check the others here if we can. Let's see. Um, yeah, there. Details. Details. Okay, we can check them now, it seems. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Uh, either way, though, Raul, you can go get soy sauce. Hmm. Okay, only one or two for the both that each of you would get. Uh, let's see, how are we with other? We have enough of that. We are low on salt. Okay. Both of you go find soy sauce out in the wild somewhere. Okay. Yeah, definitely a good idea to keep on a bunch of staff now. And to start training them as well. Uh. Let's see. Only eco watchers has something new there. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna need to wash my beard before bed. Okay. It smells a lot of uh, sweet chili Doritos. Uh, it, it's not a bad smell, but I don't think it's good idea to sleep with the uh, uh, sweet chili in the uh, uh, just the scent of sweet chili during the night. <laughs> Uh, so I probably should have swapped James and Raul around since he has a better serving skill, but oh well. I think Raptor should be able to cover us on that. So let's double check. And here we go. Uh, wait, what is Jason good at actually? Uh, oh yeah, he's supposed to be a cook. Yeah. Okay. Here you go, kid.
<laughs> really? Why are you crying suddenly? Is it because of Raptor? <laughs> it's too good, you fuck. This is way too good. Damn it, it's too good. It reminds me of my father. What's going on, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. His favorite food was combo and white frivoli Ochazuke, and I heard you sell it here. I thought he might have come by here. Mm. That's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if I see someone that looks like your father. Mm. And what is that doll? This is th this is a Cleone uh, plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. Oh, I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleone. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Is this mm. where we get nets? Huh? Mm, the Cleone? Mm. Um, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. What do we do? There we go. Could we use this? Oh, a bug net. Hmm, I think it might work. Alright, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> what are you doing, you walrus? Get your tights on and jump in the water. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I can't control my emotions that well yet. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, you can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and cleone, which can be caught with a harpoon. Alright. Uh, no. Yeah, the shy type that's well tri converses through a puppet. Yeah, like yeah. When Twilly Chris is it to say for the spell? Yep. Or something we occasionally see in cartoon shows and such? Yep. But her variant is the rare one. Who is what? Yep. It's not a traditional tranquilities. It's a, for a completely different reason than comedy. Yeah. There's a, there's a Batman villain called the Ventriloquist who's also like that. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I just saw that damn thing. Really yeah, that's a bad one. Like, you took the look at the camera and like, felt creeped out. Like, yeah, that's a, a, a nightmare for you. Yeah. yeah. How could you use you as a puppet? And yeah. yes, people, I'm aware Goosebumps' main villain is a Ventriloquist puppet. Okay, gotta let it spill over. Not yeah, good enough. We need it. You need to spill a lot of the foam. Let's see here. Marco, execute order 66. Wait, what? I, I don't no, no. think. It, uh, okay, we made a. Oh, we, we have. We pay a lot for salaries and such, so that is something that we do need to keep in mind. But still yeah, a profitable day. Let's see, uh, some extra likes. Hmm. If we can find spotted jellyfish, we can get the the gold rating. Hmm. Yep. Auto. <laughs> Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday. They multiplied. Um. We're going over to the fish farm. Okay, at least it doesn't take time to go here. Tell us quick. I've marked the section with new fish with hearts so they're easy to recognize. Go and see for yourself. Oh, yeah, that's a bunch more fish now. Let's see. Wow, the mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. I'll mark them with hearts if fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs, it reminds me of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. You have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship, and the storm flipped my uh, ship over. <laughs> I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come by often to check. 
Thanks to you, Otto. I'll feel much less pressure to catch fish. Okay. Hold yeah, on. If you have to. Hmm? She has lost her father. He has lost his son. Could be a link, but I don't think so. Seeing as uh, her, her father came here willingly or something. Let's see. A pro similar but a case, but I'm guessing not the same person. Let's yeah, see. I doubt it, but I would not be surprised if they do some weird plot twist. Okay. If you have two or more of the same kind of fish, there's a chance for a baby fish to be born. Okay. Are the baby fish any different? Oh, we've got 11 of those now. 12 of those. Uh, let's see, density. Okay, we should probably fish some out here. Oh. Uh, Marco, the girl you like is looking for her lost father. Yeah. Okay, uh, send... Wait, what? Wait, hold on oh. a minute. Am I the puppet between us two? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's see. I'm, let's... I'll keep six of each so far. Or about six of each. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's see how many we un... Actually, let's just go easy with it. Uh, and yes, uh, Moto, we are talking about Maki. Ooh, we've got a few good ones in there. Let's leave those. Oh dear. Lionfish, clownfish. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to want to keep the good ones in here so they'll breed and such. Uh, one of you is extra, so you can go get eat. There. Okay, how is that for density? 57%. Okay, should be doable. We should probably keep at least one breeding pair of every species. Okay, 26. Some cuttlefish. Mackerel. Gusky grouper. Okay. So, the <clears throat> so, uh, they, when it, the baby fish are basically born <laughs> full grown. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, we probably could have gotten to we probably could have gone to Boncho to get that uh, coral porridge made early, but oh well. We got a bunch of stuff from that. Now then. We need to find more we need to find a bunch of uh squid not squids. Uh, jellyfish. They've been not They've been oddly rare so far. I don't think we found a single one <laughs> during our last few runs. So I want to see if I can get any during this run. Hmm. So that's going to be our first, uh, second priority. First priority is to get that porridge to the Sea People Princess. Not what typically people call... Uh, actually, what is the button? What is the button for using... Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing we have to equip it as a melee weapon. I uh, overlooked that bit. I thought they'd add another button press for that, but no. Oh, well. Baseball bat. I feel like that would probably be a very bad weapon out of water. Decent enough, apparently. I accidentally whacked one of the lagoon fish. There. Uh, Just to get rid of this thing, so I can get the ingredients. Is that a beak that a tree fish has? Uh, jaws, I'm pretty sure. Just pointed teeth. Let's see then. Oh, I just realized a fish we don't want to see down here. 
And what would that be? Donkels, because, you know, Uncle Donkel. No, oh, those. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what's gonna our prune go do to a armor headed fish who has. Oh, how would you describe that thief? Sharp. Well, the thing about TV is that it's a giant bear trap of a beak. It's. Uh, Marco, we figured out why she has a doll now at least. Uh, my wife is so damn good that I'm having a one minute delay. That's sarcasm. Okay. Oh, very uh, weird form of bragging. We need you. Hmm. I, I do wonder though with how high the uh, skills for our staff can go. How busy things could get at the, the restaurants. Because having points in the hundreds, or the multiple hundreds, is a bit much. Good question. Yeah, and especially since we can only have two, uh, two staff in each area. Oh, that... That might be why they are at the hundreds. So they did say there may be a lot of customers coming uh, in that jellyfish day. True. Get off my ass. I think he wants your toes. There, come on. That barracuda is just waiting patiently. You want to know some. Uh... Scary info about the uh, squids. Mm, what then? The place that the store the ink is yeah. near boiling. Okay. Need to find something for oxygen. And uh, for Marco. Uh, yeah, Marco, I, I, I am aware you say it's rather, rather crappy. Yeah. And you again. Okay. Why does that thing remind me more people? <laughs> okay. Probably I'm because it's very I... angrily defending its territory. Uh, I think it might be the color pattern. Like, many get bullets are like. Are you... The ones you use to see pictures of are usually white bellied and brown on top. About that, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh! Okay, we just need to get close to them to catch them. Okay. Oh, that makes more sense, uh, considering how tiny those uh, nets. Or... Yeah. Here, I bought some coral porridge. Oh, you really brought it? Seems about... Seems to be right. Okay. More trilobites. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ramo, this is coral porridge. I, well, you did not. <laughs> Phew. I feel much better now. I can't remember anything after seeing squid tentacles. Huh? A human? What is a human doing here? Well, you could say I saved you. I defeated the giant squid and brought you the coral porridge. Hmm? Is that so? Wait, Ramo, that's not it. I'm actually the one who... All right then, human. You shall escort me back to my village. Me? Why should I? I'm an injured lady. You need to keep anything dangerous from happening. Ramo, I can escort you too. So, um, you go ahead and scout our path. <laughs> what? How could you? How could you let a human escort you? I can keep you safe and. You haven't even passed the village tactics exam. It was tough enough coming here. Ugh, that's a sore spot for me. So, um, stop complaining and be our lookout for the path ahead. As for you, human, you'll have to carry me on your back. <laughs> on my back? It's hard enough to move around as it is down here. Ow, my injured fin is hurting again. 
Uh, she's acting this up. Uh, you are impossible. I'll take you to the village and no further, all right? Uh, we can't actually do it because we can't go deep enough, I think. Wait, Kilian, that's not a trilobite. And what are they then? Oh, I forgot the name. Oh, it, it, it's from the same era, and I think they ate trilobites. Okay. Uh, get to the target location safely with Ramo on your back. Ramo has the ability to open up two bomb paths. Watch your surroundings carefully and escort her safely. Okay, uh, let's hope that it isn't too deep down then. Yep. You realize I maybe have a book. Or rather, collection patient, so. Whatever this be might be, I'll be right back. Okay. There we go, they open automatically. And oh, okay, good, it's up higher, so we don't have to go down. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's stay away from those things. Okay, let's, okay, so we are going to have to go down. Good, let's follow along. Make sure Ramo isn't hurt. Okay. He has something glowing. Okay, my guess is that we're... my guess is that we will have to go down deeper than we actually can at the moment. And oh, she gives us a, a pink glow. I'm guessing wherever we uh, we leave her, she will stay at around the same depth. Uh. Hello. So that uh, back in time? What was this vibration? It's rare to experience one so strong. Did something happen to the village? We must return quick. Hurry, human. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be beyond where we can dive. So we'll actually have to leave her be, I think. It's not Upania. And there's the big shark. I, oh, I have it. Oh, damn it, I don't have the damn thing in this ring. Ah, oh, damn it. Simply say it's. I forgot its name, but it's not a trilobite. Yeah, that, that. Um, okay, Wait. that thing bites hard. <laughs> Okay. Uh, leaving uh, by boat is considered a game over. You can only take one of the items you have with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have to leave. Where will we put this? Here. Um, this area has always been the same so far. So let's drop her off at the next part. And see if we can continue from there next time then, maybe. Or we'll have to go hunt that shark first. But yeah, it 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 dealt a lot of damage there. Fifty with each bite. Yeah, and that bite. Was that a Greenland shark? No clue. They're not supposed to be aggressive, and they are also supposed to be very, very, very oh. slow. Yeah, this one definitely wasn't, or at least it was faster than Dave trying to <laughs> carry her around. Okay, well, at least we now know what, uh, what a game over looks like. Or, well, not a game over, but a, a restart looks like. Okay, we'll have to go the long way around. I'm, I'm guessing that's why this area has been mostly the same. There was a little bit of pop in there. I just realized there's a Pokemon in Shibo that the prehistoric animal. I fucking I forgot the Pokemon's name. Silocants? No, not the fish. Uh, Relicants. Wait, they made a Silocant one? Yeah. And I'm talking about back to possibly. Sapphire, Ruby, or Silver and Gold era? Yeah, that, that's Relicant, I believe. 
And again, I'm not referring to that fish, I'm referring to the other one that looks like a shellfish. Kabuto? That's from the generation no. one. Not Kabuto for that, that, that. I know what a horseshoe crab is. Hey now, human, don't tell me you're tired already. Bring her carefully. And okay, the village is going to be right over here, I'm guessing, which was locked off earlier. Okay. Let's paddle our way over. Oh, no, no, okay, they, we are going deep. We are going deeper than I can go. So, yeah, we'll have to leave you here and see you next time then. Because we can't go... Well, we can go deeper, but it will seriously impact our ability to swim. Or our oxygen supply. Hmm. Okay, let's let's use this one up, so we're full. And let's see if we can maybe reach the village. They are 50 meters down, so 250 meters. Actually, let's leave you here for a second. Trigger these two. There we go. Okay. Let's hope that we have enough, enough oxygen to deal with this. Okay, there's that poison one. Yeah, he, he is below our current safe zone. We are about to hit that in five meters, I think. Oh. One of those again. Can I shoot through the... Go a bit further. There we go. Good thing that I got something with a bit of range. Okay. And now we're now we're taking on or now we're using more oxygen. Okay, at least that's there. Oops, some new fish. Critical depth. That's critical so depth. The sword reminds me of that time I met a guy named Murus Musami Maria. What? Ramo, this. Our path is blocked with rock. Ew. Oh no, what is going on? Um, must have been the vibrations earlier. So, um, think of something. I need to get back quick before my father scolds me even more. Um, hmm. Maybe we can open up a path by dropping the loose rock pile over there? Um... If we can topple it and make it fall, it might just do the trick. Or it'll just add another pile of rocks on your rock pile. Well, I suppose it might work. How do we make the rocks fall, though? I think that, would op that might open up a path upwards as well. Hmm, I see a stake over there. Maybe we pull it out? Human, can you pull out that stake over there? A steak? I think it'll hurt my hands with the you know, gloves I'm wearing. Mm. And here's where we're going to get a glove upgrade. I could probably do it with gloves that are thicker and offer a better grip. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Uh. Dave, my apologies. I left the microphone on because I was dying to know what you were talking about. Uh. If it's enhanced diving gloves you need, I think my lab could help you out. Mm. Huh? New gloves? Uh. If the equipment does... Equipment goes hand in hand with exploration, does it not? Come up to the boat. He's mm. right. I think there must be a way. Could you wait here for a moment? Oh. Hold it, human. You plan to leave Ramo in a dangerous place like this? Oh. Luckily, she has me guarding her. Still, be back quick. Yeah, about as quick as a, a snail going up a, a 90 degree incline that's been glued. <laughs> That. Thank you for giving me a, a very curious flashback from a comic clip I saw on YouTube. <laughs> okay. A turtle giving a snail a ride. There. there. Sounds gruesome, doesn't it? Uh, I'm guessing it's not. This is probably the other end of that what? rock pile. 
It is. However, they still end up screaming, slow down, you're going too fast, in pure panic. <laughs> of course. Oh, the heck is sea whip snake, sea snake whip? Uh, it's a living sea snake. Okay. Uh, let's avoid this thing. If I remember right, people, those are venomous. Yeah, Actually, a lot of yeah, snakes tend to be. Yeah, snakes are venomous. I think it, the, the shorter the snake is, the more chance there is that it's venomous, or whatever the correct word would be. Okay. I mean, I mean we got to see uh, uh, snakes. Wait. Not all tiny snakes are venomous. Many that aren't. But there are many tiny snakes that look like a venomous one. Okay. Like, you have, you have a snake called Snook, which sometimes can be mistaken for a viper. Okay. Uh, not going to drop my flashlight just yet, actually. Oh, I think I know what that is. It's not a Greenland shark. I think those are called big mouth sharks. Well, it has a big mouth. Don't uh, insult. It hurt you. Okay, I'm guessing I know where the name comes from. It's. I think it's really sensitive about the topic. Okay, come on. Get me out of here. Okay, it can't follow because it's too wide. Too wide? Yep. <laughs> no. The okay. opposite. Too narrow. Yeah, the, the shark is too big. Uh, okay, okay, that way, okay, that then it makes sense. Okay, can hear you. Chambered Nautilus. Okay, I doubt we can cook these. But Pancho might be able to figure something out. Keep forgetting they are still around the Nautilus. Okay, some of the money is definitely going to go towards upgrades for the harpoon and such. Hmm. Yep. Oh no, I... do, do, do you know what an ammonite is? Yeah. Yeah, the same YouTuber that named Donkelosticus, they nicknamed Uncle Dunkle. Nickname Ammonites Ammonite Shun. Really? Oh, okay. just wait till you, what he calls the Dodos. The Dodo Mafia. Yeah, of course. Mostly due <laughs> to, apparently, in the response game, use the Dodo special attack. You don't get just one Dodo attack, you get a whole flock. Whoa, it's a giant oarfish. Mm. If I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Okay. Oh yeah, oarfish. Really? Is people really see them alive in the wild? People more commonly find them dead on the beach. Okay, that's good enough. Easy. Okay, ah, some amethysts. And a pickaxe. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. How oh, generous. Oh, wait. Now I, now I get Marcus Yoke. What? He's referring to a famous swordsman. High quality cat food. Yeah. The, um, Masemune, or wasn't that the name of the sword? Um... Musashi, if I remember, is the one that really liked to piss off his opponents by being late. Okay. 
Okay, since we're a bit low on time... Just give them one bullet and one spear. That's enough to kill them. There. Okay. Nope. Uh. Okay, yeah, this is bad. I should not have risked it by getting that close to them. And I don't think there's any oxygen nearby, so that's going to be another restart. <laughs> is there nothing nearby? Oh, oh love of all alien. That's a new one. Uh, actually, we have the sea people thing that... If, if that's an oxygen... Come on, give, let that be oxygen. We have the necklace that gives us a little bit of extra time. Come on. Damn it, that was oxygen. Okay, if it hadn't gotten... Cl uh. Oh, you always gotta watch your oxygen, Dave. Okay. When being rescued, you'll only be able to retrieve one item. Okay. Well, that sucks, but oh well. Uh, let's see. What to bring back then? Hmm. Yeah, let's bring... Okay, we can get meat from these then. Okay. Uh, let's do that. At least it at least it's not a game over back to the main menu and such. And it's only bad by uh, with quests that you get uh, <laughs> that you get a restart. Aww. Let's see. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. <laughs> Always pay attention to your oxygen. Use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. Yep. Bacon? Yep. <laughs> Saved Dave. First time bringing Dave back from the brink of death. <laughs> okay. Hmm. The road back to the Sea People Village, huh? How fascinating. My lab has developed some driving, driving, diving gloves to be used for retrieving artifacts. Mm. I see. That should me let the, uh, that should let me pull out the stake without my hand slipping, right? Mm. Of course. It has various safety measures built in that'll let you move ma many more objects besides stakes. Mm. The long dive must have been tiring. Get some rest. I'll explain the details tomorrow. Mm. I'll come to the boat tomorrow morning. All right. Deepest dive yet, but we... Yeah. <laughs> Dave in the cor upper corner. Okay. Oh, dear. oh, you brought a picture of some... You can see? That's a giant oarfish. Yeah. I heard the fish were uh, was re re yeah, referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Amazing. <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Ancient uh, god? That's a new one. I know that they may have been... Possible control contributor to see most the myths. Uh, let's yeah, let's spend four hundred to upgrade that. And actually, yeah. one more time, maybe. We'll also need to upgrade the diving suit and the harpoon gun sometime. So I think for now, we need to focus on making money, not upgrading things. Researching with a view of the sea feels great. Okay. Still short. And we don't have enough time to go for another round at the... But we can call it here. A bit perfectly with that. So, settings... Yes, yeah, I'll just... Uh, it turned there in the corner. <laughs> Make another save. And, well, that's our first brush with death. Multiple times, technically, but yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I I get the feeling we'll be busy with this game for quite a while. 
Yeah, which is not a bad thing, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't think we did as much progress as the other times, but there's some progress and we did learn a lot. Yeah. For one, that we can check uh, people's maximum stats and what skills they will have. And... <clears throat> Yeah, I, I think on the, the restaurant side, we should be good for now, so uh, we should hold off on expanding, on getting more people. We should focus more on getting just good dishes done. Yeah. Uh, so we can get money and then upgrades, yeah, upgrade Dave's gear. That's going to yeah, be the focus for now. Probably also upgrade the stuff as well where it can, but... Uh... Yeah, with the moderation. Yeah, I'm guessing the first skill will be unlocked at level 10, and then the second at level 20. And I'm presuming that the cost for training will rise with each level. So that could get really expensive, unless it is only 150 each time, which would mean that it would cost 3,000 gold to upgrade someone to maximum capacity. Is it still a lot, but a bit yeah. more doable. For now, though... Let's head on out over here and go look for someone to raid. So let me change the screen share. Uh, there. Then to switch and let's see. Okay, Nico Silverado is online, but didn't yeah didn't we raid them last time? I let's think see. We raided them yesterday. Uh, let's see then. We have Reef to Leave with Mega Man Battle Network 2, Frogcast with Dark Souls 3, Lazarus is back with Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Big V Streams is still streaming Stray, Redacted Cat is streaming Deus Ex, Halloween 4545 with Valkyria Chronicles 4, oh, WBPL is streaming Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. That's an old game. What about that one? For I never heard of Quest uh, Quest for Glory. Right, then, then I have a, then I have some playthroughs for you to watch. Uh, uh, wait, are they? Did they just stop or something? Because it's showing them as offline now. Oh come on! <laughs> Timing, uh, Lazarus. Then uh, let's go with Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus. Mm. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's Lazarus. All right, you were yeah. not misspeaking. Okay, they're in the inverted part of the Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So, slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we start that, of course, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow, one of our days off, then we'll be back to Doom Eternal on Tuesday. And let's see. Yeah, should Doom be Eternal mm -hmm. first day. Yeah, maybe I'll see if the rest are up for a multiplayer stream. Uh, but I'm just going to leave that up for, well, if they want to or not. I'll have to I have a meeting with someone in the next month. So let me. Is this a. 31 days months or uh i can sh check yeah exactly. it's 31 months in this month okay then the meeting is on thursday i think okay um yeah let's start the raid then and thank you all again for watching and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone i was out for big mouth shocks yeah they really suck, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Yeah, bloody heck.